Hi, this is Zach Mir speaking with Zach Kareem, who's executive uh, chairman at Legendary Investments. How's your day, Zach? I'm extremely well. How are you? I'm doing fine. Uh, news uh, from Legendary regarding a placing and director share buying. Uh, maybe you can tell us more. Sure. Um, our new brokers, SP Angel, they conducted a placing files. It was very successful. We were looking for £500,000. We were substantially oversubscribed and we had to pair it back to uh, 550 from the orders we received. I participated to the tune of £100,000 and I think uh, my participation underlines my view of the mismatch in the value of the company and the current share price. And that's nothing to say of the recent progress the underlying company investing companies have made and indeed their further potential. Right, you've been talking quite a lot recently about how the shares are trading below their NAV. Do you think that the penny has dropped in terms of that as far as Legendary is concerned? Well, I think the key thing here is um, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, director participations are always a, a very positive thing. A director backing a company with their own money suggests that they have a, a huge amount of confidence and belief in the value of the company and its prospects. I put in £100,000. £100,000 on an absolute level is a sizable amount of money, and certainly investing in the A market is sizable. To put this into uh, a wider perspective, this takes my holding to 157 million shares, or just over 4%. And all of those 157 million shares I've actually bought through placings or uh, bought in the market. So again, underlying my confidence in the company and its strategy. I mean, are you somebody who believes in the, I mean, there's a general view that uh, uh, directors with skin in the game, um, that's a green flag for, uh, in terms of uh, the prospects for a company, or at least uh, the... Uh, the outlook is that is that something you believe in too? Absolutely, directors uh, buying shares in their own company means that they are uh, putting at risk their own money, and I would assume that, like myself, they would only do that if they uh, believe that there's a lot uh, a lot of value there and they have a lot of confidence in the company. Right, you spoke about the progress that the company's made. Um, the key, the two key investments <laughs> are. Uh, obviously virtual stock and uh, the new stake in IBS. Could you tell us how things are going there? Sure. Let me talk about uh, uh, the mismatch and then I'll lead into uh, uh, virtual stock and the um, uh, IBS. So currently the, the, the share cap uh, capitalization of the company is just under £4 million. Our net asset value uh, from uh, our investing companies as of September last year is 5.2 million, and uh, for the year end, which is in March, we expect it to be uh, s s quite a bit higher than that. And on the balance sheet, we hold things very conservatively. If you look at virtual stock, uh, we hold it at 66 million valuation, and that's the price a VC paid in summer of last year. Since then, there's been significant progress at virtual stock, not least with the signing of. Um, uh, Win Canton. If you look at IBS, that's not even on our balance sheet. We got involved in IBS in August of last year, and subsequent to the year um, interim end in September, investors put in money at 10 million valuation. So we went from essentially zero because we got involved at inception to a million valuation in a matter of months. And again, since then, the banking services license has been granted, and that's not on the balance sheet either. So th that's things that's happened. Um, at virtual stock at IBS and the, the, the 5.2 million the asset value or even higher actually gives no consideration to further potential and what that means. So basically what you've got on the books there is both backward looking and has a haircut already and the market is, is behaving is all actually giving a haircut and uh, you know going even further back in terms of uh, the view that it has of your company at the moment. Um, I, I guess you're right look the market is cynical um, and sometimes the market is right to be cynical. But money can only be made in the markets by identifying opportunities early before others and uh, looking forward at what the prospects may be. Uh, and of course, when those opportunities run, the market generally doesn't tend to hang around. If we look at Legendary's case, we've got to look at the track record and the management. Um, the first, in, in Legendary's case, 
the share price, the last time it was below the asset value was late 215, and the share price was about 0.1, which is what it is now. Um, some four or five months later, the market had spotted that anomaly, and the share price had quadrupled. Now, the company is far stronger than it was then, and the balance sheet is uh, far larger as well. And I, I would say the prospects are better than they've ever been before. But the price is back what it was in late 2015, and the um, uh, share price is below the asset value. So one can draw their own conclusions about what might happen there. In terms of management, uh, we identified very early on and were the first outside shareholder in virtual stock. And we got an evaluation of $2 million. As I said earlier, a VC got in an evaluation of $66 million last year, and there's been progress and a lot more potential since then. Since uh, t- since then, the uh, CEO of Virtual Stock has said he wants to list and possibly on NASDAQ. And to give you an idea where that might go, there's a company called MuleSoft on the West Coast, which was sold in um, March of this year. It's in the same space as Virtual Stock, and it's sold for $6.5 billion. So $2 million, $66 million, and then $6.5 billion. And the market's not going to hang around. Um, you know, with that kind of potential. And we as a management identified it as the first outside shareholders and at a very low valuation. If you look at IBS, we got in that inception and fairly shortly thereafter, investors put money in that 10 million valuation. And since then, we've been awarded a banking license uh, or banking services license. The challenger banks in this country are worth the hundreds of millions and that points to what IBS's potential could be. So that's the track record. Um, finally, if you again, if you look at the management, I, as part of the management, have put a hundred thousand pounds into legendary. Um, what people can draw their own conclusions in terms of what I think about the valuation of legendary at the moment and its potential. Saf Kareem, executive chairman of Legendary Investments. Thank you very much indeed.